Hey there, I want to show you the quick and easy way to mass approve landing pages using the Marketo API. I'm sure if you've ever made an update to a form before, you've seen that all of your landing pages that use that form are now in draft mode and you have to go back and reapprove them. So doing that one by one is a very tedious task and that's why the Marketo API is a great tool for this. So I'm going to show you kind of the two calls you need to make in order to do this. So looking um, here at my instance, we'll see that I have a bunch of landing pages in here that are all approved right now, and they're actually being used by this form, as well as this landing page up here in a different program. Now, if we click on this form, we can see, we can click on the Use By tab and see all of them that were used by, but again, we have to click on these individually. So that's not uh, very efficient, but luckily there's an endpoint we can use. Um, coming up in the, um, the forms, in the documentation, we'll see that there's this forms uh, or form used by endpoint that we can use. And um, here again, we can get a max return of 200 um, per call. And then we'll also use the offset. So um, I'll show you how this works, but here's where you can find uh, what we need to do. So where this ID is um, in brackets here, I'm just going to use this form ID of 2746. So let's go to Postman. And I'll come down here. I already have this built out. And I am, you'll see that up here, I have my Marketo instance um, already set to go. So if you need to know how to do that, there is a different video. I'll put the link uh, so you can find out how to do that. But right now, uh, and I already forgot the, the ID of that form, 2746. So up here, I'm going to put 2746. You'll see I have my max return of 200 and I can just change my offset to zero. I'm going to click send and this is giving me all of those uh, landing pages. There could also be um, smart campaigns in here, but you'll find that by type. So you might have to filter those out potentially. Um, but I'm just going to copy this JSON, minimize this. I'm going to go to this tool, which is data.page slash JSON slash CSV. Um, it's just one of the tools I use where I can paste in this JSON and it uh, gives me a nice um, kind of file that I can copy here and now use in Google Sheets. So I'll just paste that in and then I do data split text by columns. It automatically realizes that it's comma separated. So that's great. Uh, just delete these because those aren't needed. And now again, I could sort this if there was smart campaigns in here, I could filter those out. Um, I have all of my landing pages and I really only need this first column because that's how we're going to approve them is by ID. So I'm actually going to remove the other columns here because it's not really needed. And I'm just going to change this to ID and you'll see why here in a little bit. Okay, so now let's go back to Marketo. Um, I'm going to make an update to this form. And then I'm going to approve it. Okay, so right now um, I'm going to add the company name as well. So finish, approve, and close. And now we'll see that all of these have gone into draft mode, which I'm sure you've seen before. So now, now that we have the IDs of all of these landing pages, I can go back into Postman and we're going to use something that's called uh, the runner. And actually, before I do that, let me go up here, um, close that up, find my landing pages documentation. And here uh, we're using the approved draft. So here, um, again, the ID is in brackets. And we're actually going to use a variable, which I'll show you here in a second. So um, you'll see here, this time I'm going to leave it in the double curly braces of ID. And this should match whatever our column is um, on our spreadsheet. So that's why I changed this to ID. And it is uh, case sensitive as well. So I'm going to leave that. Um, I could change this to say my, my name, Jason. Um, I would just have to then change this column heading to Jason. Um, anything you want. ID makes the most sense to me. So I'm going to um, now go all the way up to um, my uh, collection up here and then click this run button. So I'm clicking on Marketo all the way at the top. I'm going to click run. I'm going to deselect all of these because I just want that one um, approved landing page draft. So I'm just going to select that from all of my calls. I'm going to, and actually I need to go back and I need to download, download this as a CSV file. So I'll do that. Now coming back up here, I'm going to select that file. 
and this is the one. And we'll see, it already knows how many iterations to go through because it found all of those results. Uh, for the delay here, I'm going to put 300 milliseconds. Um, Marketo does have a limit of 100 calls per 20 seconds, and there could be additional API calls being made besides just this. Um, so 300 milliseconds is kind of a safe bet that I like to use. Um, the rest of this you can keep the same. I will uncheck both of these, but now I'm going to click Run. And we'll come back here and we'll see they are approving. And now we're all set. So yeah, anytime, uh, this also goes for if you would make changes to the template itself, you need to go back and reapprove. Uh, this is a real time saver. This also works uh, with emails, which I'll show uh, in a different video, but I hope this helps.